All right, what's up guys? You guys seem to really enjoy my other how-to videos on um, sniper rifles, getting bloodthirsties, things of that nature. Uh, so I'm going to make a few more for you guys. Um, this map here is going to be studio and I'm just going to do uh, how to get a decent amount of kills, you know, do pretty well get a good ratio on studio. Um, the game type that we are playing here is kill confirmed and as you can see I'm not using a sniper rifle I am actually using um, the PDW and things like what just happened over there kinda suck because you kill someone and then they go and take all the tags and you lose some points or you don't get as many as you should have to get your score streaks but that kinda happens in kill confirmed. Um, so, like I said, I'm using the PDW, that's obvious. Uh, it's one of my uh, kind of go-to guns when I'm sort of in more or less try-hard mode kind of thing. Um, the attachments that I'm using are FMJ and of course the silencer. It's beneficial for you when you're trying hard for people to not know exactly where you are. So I also use Ghost and Lightweight to move faster. Um, as for the second perk, I'm using Scavenger because I don't use a secondary at all. So there's no pistol, no nothing. Um, I just use Scavenger to replenish my ammo and everything is hunky-dory. Um, as you can see there, I'm already at my first Bloodthirsty. Um, so yeah, Scavenger, and then the third perk that I use is Dexterity, just to help you aim that little bit faster when you need to. Um, and then, on this class that I'm using right now, I have a concussion. Uh, more often than not, I actually use the EMP grenades. I just find that they're a little bit more, versi more versatile. Um, you can take out score streaks, sentry guns, ADRs those uh... can't even think of what they're called, those little flying things that you get fly swatter for. Um, those you can take out with EMP grenades and all that. And of course because I'm using two perk ones, I actually am using the perk one greed to get the second perk one. Um, and as far as score streaks, as you can see I'm using the hunter killer and uh, the um, lightning strike. I use those because I find that when you are using them you can pretty much almost guarantee yourself at least one kill. Um, and in both cases you know sometimes more than that. And you don't really need that that many um, kills to actually start stacking these things over and over like as you can see, I've had uh, a couple of them already, just at the beginning, in uh, in just you know the first couple minutes of the game. And I've already ran through them twice, so you can get some good um, some good stacking streaks going. That kind of sucks because my would have kept on going. But yeah, so that's what I use for score streaks. I mean, you can do something higher if you really want to, but. Um, Using these three, I I like to see it kind of rolling, and it kind of just starts rolling and rolling and rolling, and then you can just start stacking kills and stacking streaks. And uh, you want to obviously confirm as many um, tags as you can and deny them as well to keep, if you're in kill confirm, to keep your points just rising and rising and rising. I mean, if you're in TDM, obviously that's not an issue for your domination. You're gonna want to be uh, grabbing flags when you can, and uh, you know all those other kind of awesome things that you can be doing. Um, what I do when I'm playing almost any map is I really like to stick to the outsides of the map and kind of look in towards, unless I have a reason to be looking down the line that you're going. Like here, you can see I'm trying to stick to the outside of the map. Um, there are obviously scenarios where you're gonna have to go towards the middle, like here, just to kind of cut it off. If you see 
um, spawns have switched or whatever has happened. But then for a general rule of things, when you're trying to do fairly well and you're trying to get, you know, kind of streaks going or stacking kills or bloodthirsties or whatever you want to be doing, the best things to be doing is sticking to the outside and then looking back in towards uh, the center. Wow, that guy just spawned all my tech. That's pretty funny. But yeah, that's the easiest thing to do is stick to the outsides looking in unless you have a reason to suspect that there's going to be someone along the outside there with you then you can obviously be looking over there like here you see I'm sticking to the outside I see this guy crossing through the middle but that stupid thing was in the way and now there's a guy out there you know so you're gonna wanna that's the basis of what I try to do um, is stick to the outside, of course, and usually it works out for me pretty well. Like in this game, it does work pretty good. I, have, um, I do pretty well. Um, that's kind of more or less what you're gonna want to be doing as far as weapons. Um, if you're trying to do just the best that you can, obviously you're gonna be using the weapon that you feel the most comfortable with. Um, now that's gonna be. Whether that's a sniper, whether that's an assault rifle, whether that's this, whether that's that. You know, that's obviously up to you, not me telling you what that's going to be. Um, but for studio, I really like the SMGs. Uh, I'm usually using SMGs for studios or a sniper rifle. Um, but that's just me. If there's a different gun view, obviously do that. Uh, and I like to use, some people are going to say, why are you using ghosts? You don't need ghosts. The reason why I like to use ghosts is, especially in kill confirmed TDM, uh, people like me use UAVs, and if you're doing decent, the UAVs will just keep on ticking over, and everyone will just always know where you are, and that's incredibly annoying to me. So, and the point of using a silencer is to keep yourself off the map, and then if you're not using ghosts, you're just gonna be on the map anyways, and what the hell's the point of that? So that's why I'm using ghost and lightweight to just, you know, move quicker. And I think that's a really good combination, silencer and ghost. So then that's, you know, you're not going to get screwed over that way at least. You might get hit by uh, AI, or not AI, um, player controlled score streaks, you know, beetle warships, you know, those kind of things, because it'll still show up on the map for that. But how often do people actually get those is one thing and if you're worried about that you can always pick up a, a rocket launcher or something like that but anyways guys that concludes this video on how to kind of just go over and play this map if you guys liked it let me know leave a like leave a comment and if you guys like this kind of stuff a lot leave a subscription all right guys ciao.